What's up, Chesapeake? We're going to continue with that Anish Shield Pass. So we're going to take a little bit different um, way to do it as opposed to before. We're just kind of smashing through the other side. Okay. So here, let's turn this way so they can see my foot. All right. So he's got that half guard. He's controlling this leg, and this is coming up. Okay. So what I need to make sure I'm doing again is not maybe putting too much pressure forward because that's not the kind of pass we're doing, but I don't want to be leaning back where he can just start kicking, start coming up, going over knee bars, and doing all that fancy stuff. I don't want to give him that much room either. Okay, so I'm going to press down. Sorry. I'm going to press down on this knee before I do anything because I don't want him moving. So I'm going to press down and put pressure here. Okay, even I'm putting a little bit of pressure forward, that's okay, but I don't want this bottom leg to move. Okay, and you'll see why right now. So as soon as I get back here, I've already put pressure down on that knee. It's going to be really easy for me to either just roll out or step to bring that out. Because I'm controlling that knee, he can't follow me. If I'm not controlling that knee, as soon as I start doing anything, he's hooking my leg. And it's still stuck. So as soon as I control that knee, it's easy for me to slide out. Now, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my ankle over his to pin okay and all i'm doing is stapling that that leg down so he can't do anything so as soon as i staple that leg down now we're in a good position right all he has is this leg to control me so as soon as i pin this leg down rotate my arm around or my leg around now we're in this position okay and now from here it's really easy for me to back up and get my arm in here okay and all I need to do is keep that angle at that 45 and I'm gonna start splitting his leg this way okay and now I'm controlling that leg pinching my feet here or my legs here right on that right leg and it's easy for me to switch my hip and start getting the side control that I really want okay so he gets that good knee shield position pushing that knee to the ground rotating my leg and coming over, okay? Now that I have him pinned, I can back up a little bit and bring my hand under. It really doesn't matter how I grab it. The most important thing is that I start switching my shoulders at that 45 to help me. If I start trying to push him from here, it's gonna be really hard just with my arm to push. But as soon as I get my position here that I want, my arm comes under, now I'm switching my hips and I'm just pushing to split his legs. Pinching my leg, my knees together, my hand comes under that armpit, and see me to turn and get to the position. Okay? And what I like to do from here, when I'm in the side position here, is bring my knee under that leg that's closest to me to get him back on his side. He can't turn back into me. All right? Control that knee prior to doing anything else that's on the bottom. Well, you're not going to be able to start, start to get this, right? Like, subscribe, go try it out.